Hi, Matt from Invariant here, and welcome to the tutorial video on using the delineation devices in Rapid Plan. When creating your plan, you will get to the point when you need to insert some delineation devices. To access the delineators, simply come over to your tools palette here, hover over the devices tab, and the first icon you'll see here is the delineation tab. So if you left click on that, um, it will enable it for use on your plan. Uh, to begin using the delineations, delineation devices, it's just a simple left click um, to create a control point and then each subsequent click that you make uh, will create a new control point. Uh, you can snap it to existing control points. Uh, this will help you get a perfect uh, line um, to form your different points. So it's just a left click for each point. Um, and once you've clicked your final point, it's a right click to finish using the tool. Um, and then a right click to go back to your select tool. Uh, so once you've created your delineators, you can left click on them. Uh, this will bring up a um, customizer, customization box here in your properties palette. Um, here you can uh, edit the type of device it is. So we've got 13 standard types of delineators. Uh, you can go through and find the correct one for your settings. So if you need to make it uh, bollards, you can select the bollards. Um, and I'll just zoom in here so we can see them a bit better. Uh, we can change the sizing of them. So if you need to make them a little bit bigger, you can do so here. Uh, you can change the spacing. So this will be dependent on obviously the speed limit um, and also the distances on your plan that you have set up as well. Um, you can change the alignment here. So this will depend on the type of delineation device. So if I have it set to cones, uh, you can see I can change the alignment from to, to parallel. So if they need to be facing the other way uh, or perpendicular. So it'll all depend on your layout on your plan and also uh, which delineation device you select. Um, that's pretty much the basics of using the delineation tool. Uh, we do have another uh, device um, called the buffer delineator. So this will create a buffer um, when you are measuring out delineation devices. So as you can see here, when I click it out, uh, it will create a buffered area for you. Um, you can customize the buffered area within your uh, properties palette when you select it. Um, it's essentially the same tool as the delineation tool. It just adds that buffered area for you as well. Um, so when you've uh, got it selected, um, you may find uh, that you're using a specific type of delineator. Um, it's specific size and spacing um, quite often. So if you're wanting to save um, a setting of delineations um, to use in the future, you can come to the apply object style button here. Um, you'll see that you've got all your pre-existing uh, delineation types here. If you come down to edit styles, um, we can create a new delineation style um, that you can use on all your future plans. So if you click on new style, uh, it'll bring up just some options here so you could rename the style name to default delineator or something similar to that. Uh, if it needs to be bollards, you can set it as bollards. Set it to your default settings. Um, so you may have spacing of uh, 20 meters here. Um, you can hit save uh, and then close that menu. So what that'll then do is save it as a default style. Uh, in your object style menu. So you can click on that now and the settings that I created within the object styles will be set um, when I click on it. Um, so you can also set this as your default um, style. Um, you can do this in the preferences menu. Uh, when creating your delineation devices, you can right click on the devices tab, uh, sorry, on the delineation icon. Uh, this will allow you to access your object styles before you create the delineation device. So if you're wanting to select uh, para webbing here, you can select it. And then as soon as you draw, uh, it will add 
the power webbing to your plan for you so you won't have to go into your properties palette and edit it post creation. That sums up the basics of using the delineation devices. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Enverium.